Okay. Uh, I think I got it working now. It showed up on the recording. I think it works now. I think it is just OBS just being a piece of shit. I mean, that's what you get for, get for having the free version. Uh, what version of OBS is this anyway? 24, which shouldn't have any bugs like this. Do we have sound finally? Can people hear this? Not, obviously there's no sound right now, but... Uh, did you hear that? How about that? It's working now? Oh, thank Christ. So it's just OBS. I have to, anytime that happens, I just have to sound, uh, I have to just restart everything. All right, so, uh, let's start the stream for real now. Rewind everything. That Those past 40 minutes didn't happen. Let me, uh, let me just, uh, retweet that and say we're doing it for real now. Okay, so, uh, as I was saying, this game, AI, Somnium Files, uh, made by Kotaro Uchikoshi, same guy who made the Zero Escape series, which is really great. Just finished watching GPM stream all three games. Uh, the opponent, you're welcome. Uh, thank you. If you, did, were you the one who gave my friend your advice? Because if so, uh, thank you. <laughs> uh, language, of course we're going to play in English. Language cannot be switched. That's odd. Nice. Well, thank you both. You really pulled it out. Unfortunately, it's just a matter of OBS being stupid. The story is a work of fiction. Names, characters, places, and incidents either are products of the author's imagination or are used fictitiously. Okay, I can't read the disclaimer. Everything sounds okay, though, right? Not too loud or anything? Well, next time we know what to do, just turn it off and turn it back on again. I'm angry that that's the solution. So yeah, if you haven't played a Zero Escape, I highly, highly recommend it. It's it, it 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 escalates, and the ending of the series isn't super great, but the ride is just so enjoyable. Obviously, I'm cutting all of that first 40 minutes out of the VOD. <laughs> the Zero Escape series is very much like a, uh, the merry-go-round, yes. Uh, she's missing an eyeball. I don't know much about this game. I'm going in like 99% blind to this, which is really good because if this is as like intriguing as the other stuff I've played by Uchikoshi, then this is going to be th this is going to be a good time. Day 1, Friday. Probably a lot less urgent than Zero Escape feels. Bloom Park. 
10.54 p.m. <laughs> My favorite Mario Sunshine level. During investigations, the main character, Date, inspects scenes and collects testimony. Progress by examining objects and talking to people. This is kind of like Ace Attorney. Date's position is fixed, but you can move the cursor around in view. Try looking around and moving the cursor to find something that catches your eye and inspect it. Alright. Okay, move sight. Oh, you can move both the cur- it's a twin stick. And investigate. Parasol is getting painted by pelted by the rain. The panda ride looks lonely. This is gonna be a lot of flavor text. It's a bench. Is this the control room? The place where the operator sits to turn the ride on and off. I took a look inside, but I didn't see anything that might be a clue. Oh god, you could just view the sky. <laughs> This rain is depressing. Has it been like this all day? The old Ferris wheel is over there. It feels like an enormous eye staring down at you. Barrier. A red barrier line wraps around the scene. In the old days, they used yellow caution tape for this. Now we've got cheap hologram technology that could do the job even better. Well, sometimes we use good old-fashioned yellow tape. I'm gonna grab a drink. This is probably the best time to do so. Skewered horse. A horse from the Marigold. already in this state before the crime. My best hypothesis is that this is the result of a teenage prank. Knowing Uchikoshi, that's very much not the case. Okay, so I see you could just scroll down through the blog. This is not a you just listen to real stuff. The menu contains a number of functions, such as file, flowchart, options, and guide. Oh god, there's a flowchart. The game will autosave, but you can also save manually with save. If you would like to end the game, you can reach the title screen with the top menu on the top right of the screen. Oh god, that text, that's zero time dilemma text. Oh, he's, they're just like reusing all the same like assets. That's all, that is, that is zero escape sounds right there. A story time chart. Jump to another part of the story using the flow chart. Am I going to see the whole flow chart from the beginning? You can check the story's progress and branching points with flow chart. This will be filled out as the story advances. By selecting a chapter and investigation process, you could jump to any point in the story. File allows you to read information about people you've spoken to or terms you've heard. It is updated as the story advances. Interesting. Oh god, there's a lot of here. There's a lot, a lot of... During investigations, blah blah blah. Speak during investigation. You can move your view and cur... Look, pick the choice. Map. Here's on the bottom right of the screen. Open, pick your location. You can obtain information using I special vision modes. Modes change depending on the situation. When you finish talking about a certain subject, new choices may be available. You can use log of the conversation so far. The file contains information, flowcharts. You can jump to a certain point in the story by selecting a chapter, then an investigation process. Save, menu, top menu. Okay, it's all stuff we've heard already. Haname Date, sex male, age 30. Birthday, August 3rd. Profession, police officer, advanced brain investigation squad. He's got the galaxy brain. Metropolitan Police Department. Likes classic cars, curry, bonito, pelvises, reka. Pelvises? Really? Uh, it's gonna, this is, it's gonna be one of these games. Soft dislike, soft boiled eggs, punk kids, and ghosts. Collects vintage magazines. Reaction time increases. 3.6 seconds under, or 3.6 times under certain conditions. 
as a sciencer, Date uses science machine. The Sync? Is it Sync or Sinker? To dive into the minds of suspects of persons of interest. Of suspects of persons of interest. That's a lot of ofs. He lost his eye six years ago, but replaced it with a prosthetic eye, which houses an advanced artificial intelligence known as an AI ball or eyeball. Incredibly, incredibly great. He also lost all of his memories past six years ago. Perfect. Eyeball. Sex female, according to settings. Age five. Birthday, November 9th. Likes insects, spiders, crustaceans, 101 I'm sure that stands for something binary. Probably like sex or something. Profession, investigative assistant. Dirty jokes going outside the simulation. Sneaks outside Date's eye socket while he's sleeping to make mischief. Skills, hacking, fluoroscopy, voice imitation, 3D modeling. Aiba is an autonomous artificial intelligence. She usually takes the shape of an eyeball and resides in Date's left eye socket. She assists Date by gathering information, connecting to networks and databases, and using her x-ray and thermographic functions. Boss, uh, commander of Abyss, special investigation team in the Metropolitan the Police Department, likes wine, gore dolls, anything black. Convert those numbers from binary to decimal, you get 41, 205, fourth alphabet letter equals D, first equals A, 20th equals T, fifth equals E. Oh, I see. It's Date, so she likes Date. Dislikes. Happy families. Oh, that's that's a real nice character trait. Ex-boyfriends, MPD's director, decluttering and organizing. Hobbies, glowing to clubs and kabuki cho. Skills, grasping people's weaknesses, applying pressure, and making them obey. Boss is Date's direct superior and longtime friend. She appears to be an easygoing optimist with a carefree attitude, but she is as cunning as a fox with a quick wit. Interesting. Only 28 characters, huh? Controls, bring up L. Oh, okay, so mine just brings that up. ZL, investigate, select, investigate. Okay, same as A. It's like it just be used as multiple things. Holding, skip, speed, skip. Okay, probably gonna have to use that a lot. Free cursor, options. Ibis vision modes, hold cursor, reset. Move site, okay. When you look to his prayer, you'll be presented with the... Uh, Kabuki Cho is the inspiration for Yakuza, Yakuza's Kamuro Cho. So I've been told. Use the choices to select the topic of conversation. Look will allow you... I'm getting tired of reading flavor text here. Inspector from Metro. Hope he finds a lead. a great detective like you would ask me my name. It's Kagami, sir. Anything to go uh, yes, on. Sir. Thanks for coming out here in this mess. It's my duty, sir. Thank you. How come I could still ask him for his name? It's Kagami, sir. Kagami. <laughs> Are you serious? It's Kagami! Oh, I'm just pissing this dude. I already learned his name. I don't need to ask him again. And yet his name does not change to Inspector Kagami. Okay, I see. So this is kind of weird because, like, you can talk to someone but still look around while doing this. So, like, if I want, I could do, like, look over here... I'm sure that's going to come into play at some point. I call her boss. She runs Abyss, a special branch of the Metropolitan Police Department. I report directly to her. Not yet. We just found the victim. Too early to say anything for sure. But this could be a copycat killer at work. From the case six years ago. The case six years ago? For whatever, for whatever reason, she didn't elaborate. A case six years ago. Ah, conveniently when he lost his memories. Your special agent, Kaname Date. 
You're a member of Abyss, and that means you answer to me. Oh, Abyss. I called you here to inspect the scene. Like the word. Sure, boss. But inspecting dead bodies isn't usually part of the job. Usually, no. But tonight it is. Because you know this woman, don't you, Dante? I had to tell you. You deserve to know. Metro got a call about two hours ago. Someone heard screaming coming from the park. Beat cop responded, checked out the scene. And found the corpse. Yeah. Thing is, the caller was anonymous. I'll give you the details later. Hmm. After finishing discussing a topic with someone, they might have new things to talk about. It's unusual for this time of year. Oh, I had auto on. That's why it was going automatically. Hard to find any usable prints. Her name's Nadami Shoko. You knew her, right? What was the relationship like? I heard you two have been close for years. I wouldn't say that. We were just acquaintances. No, they're just, just acquaintances. It's almost pitiful. City skyscrapers crowd each other. It's been eight years since Bloom Park closed. The weather's gotten to it pretty bad. Oh, there's the yellow tape. Since I'm self-employed, my refund is whatever the difference between what I expect to pay the IRS and H&R Block and what I actually owe them. Any ideas where I should go to eat since I just surpassed 4,000 writing submissions? Um, I don't know. I don't know. You just, just treat yourself, honestly. At this point, if you... If, that's something to celebrate, honestly. And I, uh... Eh, I'm, yeah, don't want to... Eh. Local cop. How's the investigation coming? Not too good, unfortunately. I'm not finding much. I like the prompts gray out once you've seen the info already. Wait, really? Oh yeah, you're right. Nice. It's the main column holding up the roof. It's a horse from the merry-go-round. Merry go round control room. There are no leads here. There's a fence set up around the merry go round, probably to prevent nosy kids from getting caught in the machinery. Wait, what's still over here? Oh, the fence still's more. All right. So if there's any flavor text at all, it's still it still like lights up. Even just like recap text. Oh god, like, you can't mash A, though, because you just go all over the place. Alright, let's move this ahead here. The body is mounted on one of the horses. I should get a better look. I take a step forward. Ah, sorry, sir. Could you please not get any closer? <laughs> we haven't taken any footprints yet. I appreciate your understanding. Thanks, Inspector, uh... Uh... Fuck, what was his name again? Allow me to assist you. Thanks, Eyeball. Her official designation is Eyeball. She's an artificial intelligence built into my fake eye. An AI for an eye. Heh. <laughs> you want me to use the zoom, right? Correct. Enhance. Zoom in and enhance. While playing through the story, I have a special vision modes may help you obtain new info. You can now select zoom to enlarge the target. You can also view the controls with minus. Uh, I have vision modes. Wait, what? Oh, if I click it in? Oh, there we go. Click an L. Wow. Zoom. Oof. 
multiple puncture wounds to the front of the torso. Ooh, that frame rate's taking a dip, though. Death, blood loss from these wounds. Body temperature and rigor mortis indicate the time of death was approximately six hours ago. That would place the crime occurring around 5 p.m. This has got a very, um, Ghost in the Shell uh, vibe to it. Several puncture wounds, but no cuts or tears. That means... Was probably stabbed with something pointed and smooth. I am detecting signs of increased stress in your body. Cortisol and ACTH concentration is rising. Don't bug me with jargon right now, all right? I'm just upset. Now I'm remembering the awkward zombie comic where Samus uses her x-ray visor on her own arm and winds up being told she has cancer from Dr. Mario. Oh, Jesus. Oh, that sucks. That honestly doesn't sound like a funny card, a comic. Huh. <sighs> dilation and corneal turbidity indicate the victim is dead. No shit, Sherlock. I knew her. I know. Remember that I also saw her several times, though it has been quite some time since we last saw her. The left eye socket is vacant. Victim has had her left eyeball removed. Her left eye? The most likely scenario is that the killer or killers removed it. Interesting, and Date lost his left eye six years ago. So we've already got we've already got a thing going on here. A crow or some other animal could have pulled it off the corpse. Impossible. The amount of blood indicates that the victim's eye was removed before her death. They carved it out while she was still alive. Correct. What was that? Analyzing the source of the sound. Sonic that? analysis indicates the sound originated from inside the merry-go-round central column. I was just about to ask if da Date's sprite is mirrored or appropriate for each side of the screen. Good question. I don't think I've seen it on the left, the right side. I don't think anyone's sprites go on the right side. Or uh, inside the column. To my knowledge, the noise came from inside. Date, use me to see through the column. Utilize the X-ray mode. Oh yeah, cool. Cause that's just the thing that people can do with their eyeballs in a uh, twenty fucking whatever. <sighs> oh no! It appears as though someone is inside. I threw down my umbrella and ran to the pillar. Hey, wait! Shut up. I pushed him aside and ran up the platform. Hey, I know you're in there. If you can hear me, say something. No reply. Looking closely, I found a small handle on the column. I grabbed it hard and tried to pull it open. Nope, oh, that's a 999 sound effect right there. It may be locked from the inside. Damn it. You could tell that I'm just like in a, like the reason I'm playing this hey, is because I'm on a zero escape kick. There. Stay back. The fuck is that? Oh, I see. He's used it to blow up the door. Izuki. Interesting. Interesting. Very interesting, indeed. Odd place for a TV. Wait, what? I have to I have to look at that again. Not liking these load times. Whoa. 
What is this place? This is your dream. I'm me. Correct. You are Date. You are? Putting aside the vocal percussion on a whole nother level right here, um, I've noticed that there's three options in that menu over there that are kind of like staticky. I wonder if that's more stuff I'm going to unlock. This is uh, incredibly silly. Is that I? All right then. Who are you? I'm me, of course. I know that voice. Iba? Yep. Indeed. Of course, she's actually a hot girl inside his dream. Why do you look like a fluorescent shrimp? <laughs> what are you talking about? I, I must look so cute that you've lost your mind. Under normal circumstances, I would lecture you about your awful taste, but what are you doing in my dream? You called me. My consciousness and your own are linked. This is why I appear in your dreams. Consider me an alter ego. We're gonna shift to another timeline. But I shouldn't waste time explaining further. You will have forgotten this by the time you wake up. I will discuss this with you soon, when you're awake. I'm Iba, but you can call me Zero. I'm trying to sort out my situation, but my brain isn't cooperating. It must be because I'm sleeping right now. So things that I should know... I can't remember. My head is all fuzzy. I'm not my usual self. It's like I'm inside someone else's head. What a strange feeling. Pretty sure I was voiced by Erica. Do you recognize this room? I see this character in my mind of a blend of Digital Devil Saga and FF9's Kuja. Yeah, no. The hair. That's definitely Kuja hair right there. I've actually never played Digital Devil Saga. No. I suppose that's fine. Let us begin. Also, I think that if these sprites, which aren't sprites, they're models, appeared on the right side of the screen, they would just be mirrored because these are actual 3D models here. So if Date was on the other side of the uh, text box, they would probably just tilt his model. Begin what? The fuck? That's some damn good lip flapping. I will say that um, if the if this is the same if these are the same people that made this game that made Zero Time Dilemma, like if they use the same studio of animators and riggers, like to do all this, they have improved substantially in in le in three years from 2016 till 2019. of your Somnium, your dream world. My simulations have encountered several mental locks. Yeah, this... Wow. Uh, not even hiding the uh, Zero Escape sound effects. Yeah, no, this game came out, I think, summer of last year or fall? I can't remember. It didn't come out too long ago. I got it now because it was on sale for 40% off, which I had mentioned uh, earlier during the, uh, the now lost part of the stream that will never see the light of day again. Already forgotten, even your critical thinking abilities have dulled. Huh? In short, Somnium is a world built from the deepest recesses of your consciousness. This world is divided into several layers. Each layer stands upon a foundation, a base component. Yeah, this is getting real Phoenix Righty with the with the mental locks and the Magatama. Think of these foundations as mental blocks, or simply locks for convenience. Mental locks must be broken before we can proceed deeper into consciousness. The truth is always hidden within the deepest layers. Therefore, we must... Um, remove the mental locks? Correct. So I just need to turn on all the lights and open the door? Shouldn't be too hard. Don't be so sure. Appearances in this world can be deceiving. This also amuses me since Erica is the voice of Anne and Panther. Anne and Panther in Persona 5. 
Uh, I mean, she's in a lot of stuff, so. Let's start with the door. Pretty sure Sean's in this too. My my old my old acquaintance. Please direct me to the door and give me instructions. I see. So I can do whatever I want with you in this world. Date, you fucking. Well, I suppose that is true, but. All right, let's do this. Wake Date up, sinking in the brain. Date's dream world. In this strange and surreal dream, trust the light to wake up Date. What? So he'll just sleep forever. Insomnia, you explore a dream to discover the subject's hidden memories. Unlocking the mental locks will allow you to travel deeper into the dream. Unlocking all of them will reveal important information. Wake up, sheeple. A guide to unlocking the mental locks is displayed in the upper left cor corner. <laughs> First, move Iba closer to the door and investigate. Oh, I can actually. Oh, I'm controlling Iba directly. You can see your current objective and locations in the Somnia map. If you are lost or want to save time, try checking the map. Oh, this is weird. This is very weird. Also, I feel like the camera's a little too zoomed in. This music does have some somewhat of a uh, zero escape quality to it. I do think it's the same composer. Yeah, we gotta wake up, get out, get out there. Wake up, get up. The thing from Destiny that uh, Peter Dinklage uh, voices. A door locked with a padlock. When investigating things, you could choose from a number of options to give Iba instructions. For now, let's have Iba investigate the door. Uh, oh, I see. It appears all I have to do. I have to press up. Door. Okay, she's gonna jerk off the knob for a little bit. I can't touch it. He just has his pal Jeff the skeleton, like sitting there in real life. I see. Your mental faculties must be hazy because your body is currently sleeping. I suppose I will have to explain. I'd rather you not disturb my precious sleep. Shut up and listen. Date, look at that. Places where the light touches have become colored. Oof, that's some, uh, that's some crusty artifacting going on there. Or ant some crusty, uh, aliasing happening. Perhaps those parts are now tangible. Every human mind is unique. Every human dream has its own set of rules. I find it funny that the models in this game look pretty good. Like, look at that thing in the corner. That, like, couch or whatever that is. That looks fine. Then you look at the, the moving blind texture, and it's just pixels. I see. If you understand these rules, the dream world itself becomes malleable. Who was that? I don't know. You must know. This is your dream. It is created from your memories. I don't know what to tell you. I have no idea who that was. You may remember upon reflection. I need to give you commands that will unlock the mental locks, right? Indeed. But it is difficult to predict exactly how an object will behave in Somnium. Think outside the box. Trying different actions will help solve the problem. Now, what should I have you do? Don't forget that I have a veto. In the Somnium world, you are able to investigate objects that have a floating name. A new object has appeared. Move Iba over to it and investigate. Winter Iris. A winter iris. What? Thank you. Do you not recognize it? This is an iris that blooms in winter. No. Oh, a flower with a woman's name. Grab or smell. <laughs> Take a sniff. Hmm. Hey, I didn't know you could smell. I can't. 
I'm pantomiming. I think everyone can smell if they don't shower for a while. Isn't it easier to visualize this way? Sure. Never. Not enough. Pardon? Harder. You gotta smell it harder. What? Uh, okay. Uh... Amazing suction. Bravo. Marvelous. What the fuck? What are you experiencing so regularly to cause this to happen in your dreams? You were able to touch it. I think I think this is going to be a fun ride. Correct. I don't know about you guys. So, I just need to keep this up. Something like that. You could check your progress on the left side of the screen. Your actions just now advance your progress. Reach the end to clear the Somnium. You can view the controls in the menu. A switch. The thorns are gone. Now I can activate the switch. That's what I was doing for the first 40 minutes of the stream. Isn't this rewarding, Date? Another place you can touch. I would rather be sleeping. I wish I had fanfare go off whenever I turn off the damn light. It would make me feel a lot better about myself. But there is another mental lock in this Somnium. Unlock the next mental lock using the guide Open the Door as a lead. You can always check the tutorial by going to Menu File Appendix. A glass of wine. Your sound went through a 40 minute sleep trial until you were able to wake it up. Yeah. Smell, investigate, have a sip. Leave it to me. Hey. D Jeez. <sighs> it's gonna be me at TFF in another few weeks. <laughs> I feel kinda good. Why is an AI getting drunk? <laughs> Why do I have to listen to Date diss me all the time? <laughs> Oh, she's annoying when she's drunk. Someone else can come take her. Uh, so that didn't do anything. A basket. I cannot see inside it. Where the basket? Leave it to me. It is dark. I cannot see anything. Oh, interesting. The skeleton has it. I'll see a dumb AI. And a skeleton. A basket. Oh, we could do other stuff too. Tackle it. Ow. That hurt my shoulder. You know what I would think would hurt more? The fact that you're standing with like your chest puffed out. Sorry. I shouldn't have asked you to do that. Your spine must be all sorts of fucked up. Shoulder that burden. That's it, that was terrible. Is that a pun? Yeah, she's got the uh, she's got the anime back, all right. Wait, and this? Hold on. So I'm not gonna stream this, but in in Cyber Sleuth, I'm playing as the female character, and her back is like almost at like a 90 degree angle. She's got them boobs puffed out pretty hard. A basket. Yeah, she's an Escher girl. <laughs> Interesting. And a one dollar bill. Occult stuff, maybe? Does the occult interest you, Dante? The truth is out there. It is a trending topic. Anyone could have encountered items such as these. Hashtag occult. True. Somebody's into the occult. This is somewhat different than occult. A floor lamp shaped like a rose. It won't move. It must mean I don't flinch. I hold my ground like a mountain. But you're also a sensitive flower. I interpret it more as your irritating personality spreading like pollen in the wind. The tears won't stop. Must be allergies. You're just sleepy. A lamp. 
You don't have to kick it so hard. Give it everything you've got. That's my motto. Uh, it didn't even budge. I saw the skeleton's skull move slightly. Hey, Date, are we gonna get him too? Huh? What are you, a thug? Oh, that was progress, though. I needed to do that. I don't like how it just kind of blocks you out of doing other stuff with it, too, though. I feel like there's there's fl like there's there's FOMO there. There's flavor text I'm missing. Anyway, time to time to look at Skelly Boy. I need to go back to Cyber Sleuth at some point. My main team was basically four Mons and your top end Digivolutions of Renamon, Terriermon, Giyuan, and Platinum Poopmon. Oh, Numemon? No, uh. G Fuck, I forgot the name of it. That's like one of my favorite Digimon, too. Sukamon. I, um, I am like, I am like four hours into this game. I just stopped. I really wanted it because it was cheap and it has two games in one. And I just wanted a Digimon game, but, uh, I just haven't had the energy to, like, actually invest time into doing it. A skeleton. It appears to be bleeding from the left eye. There are traces of blood around the left eye socket. Even though it's just bone? This skeleton is clinging to some small bit of life. I hope my bones die and stay dead. They should. A skeleton. To the skeleton? What you been working on, Jeff? You just want someone to talk to, huh? True. Hello, my name is Ida. What is your name? How are you? I am currently 92% charged and feeling well. Hey, don't ignore me. I, <laughs> I hope my bones don't die. I just want to be a skeleton forever. Stupid bony man. Your mother is a stupid bony girl. Bony, bony, bony. You finished? My disappointment is immeasurable. A skeleton. Alright, you know what it's time to do? Smack no that skeleton. skeleton. I harbor no grudges against you. Hi yeah! What? I have a look. The wall. I imagine I would be very confused if I was recording for these characters, because they probably have no context of what's happening in this game. Here comes the boulder escape sequence. Irrepressible urge for destruction you've been holding back all this time? Even if I did, adults have to learn moderation, you know. Who is he? Are you sure you don't know? I don't know. He looks like some old man. You could describe him a little more generously. Hmm. A hidden item. Insomnia? There's always one somewhere. <laughs> no more. I can't eat anymore, I'm stuffed. Uh, we're just back here, but now there's a crack in the floor. What? Day, date B, day one, date B, or date B acquired, interesting. No rush by any idea you want you plan to stream. Uh, because of the problems, I'm probably gonna go for a little longer tonight. Honestly, the, the idea... So, here's the deal. When I come home from work, by the time I'm showered and eaten, it's already like 11 o'clock. So, it's hard for me not to just stream late now. 
I'm gonna try to see if I can get the showers in in the morning, especially once I reintroduce Ring Fit to the uh, routine, but that probably won't be till March. Um, anyway, as for tonight, probably go for another hour and a half or so. I'll probably end around 2.30. It depends. Why is there a gun in this house? Yeah, Ring Fit. So that's what's going to happen. Once I reintroduce that, I'm going to do like 9 a.m., half hour of Ring Fit, and then I take a shower, and then I go to work. That should leave me more than enough time to do that, because it doesn't take me like a half hour to shower. But um, I'm not entirely sure that's going to play out, and I'm not ready to do that yet, because I have a lot going on right now. Uh, probably once I get back from Texas at the end of the month, I'll... Uh, I'll start doing that. This house has a skeleton in it. Anything can happen. I hear it's common in the Kyushu area. In fact, it is said that they place hand grenades in the egg cartons in their refrigerators. Who did you hear that from? Regis. A gun. It won't go off? It should be fine. Goes off immediately. Look at this hot magnum. I could ventilate some crooks with this thing. Don't get excited. Remind you of anyone? No. Not really. Date doesn't seem like that kind of person. The next thing on my schedule is seeing Birds of Prey with some friends tomorrow night. Oh, I didn't even realize that movie was out. Uh, am I holding the gun? Yeah, I am. Eyeball with the gun. What will she do? Who will she shoot? An album photo. You can earn album photos by finding hidden items or clearing a somnium with more than one second remaining. What? You can view photos you've collected at any time. Collect them all. Last with the eyeball on it. Evolver. That's a pretty cool gun. Eyeball's an echo fighter for Joker. I would love to see some sort of Uchikoshi character in Smash. Get Junpei in there. He attacks with the Funyarimpa. ACTH and Adrenocorte. Oh my god. Adrenocorticotropic hormone. Stress stimulates the adrenal cortex and secretes this hormone to heighten senses and increase defense functions. This is secreted on a daily basis by the author. Abyss. Advanced Brain Investigation Squad, a special classified division of the Metro Police Department, tasked with conducting criminal investigations by understanding and penetrating the mind. They are stationed six floors underneath MPD headquarters. Few know of their existence, even among the police. Features of IBA's similar to fluoroscopy. Earth is constantly inundated by cosmic rays from space. Cosmic rays contain X-rays, and IBA is able to detect these X-rays that have passed through these objects and see them. Because it works along the same logic as an x-ray machine, you unfortunately cannot use it to see panties. Oh god, look at all this. Alright, we'll come back to that. Hoping for Shantae or Hornet Hollow Knight. I'm just glad that the last character of the Fighters Pass 1 can be female. I'm really hoping for some more females in Fighters Pass 2, but also at the same time, all the characters I want are male. <laughs> so it's a rough, uh, it's a rough duality there for my, for me. Uh, that said, I'm not gonna turn down more Smash characters. Whoever is fine with me. Um, I will say I like the trend of indie characters getting the me costumes. I think that should continue, because... A door locked with a padlock. Yeah, I'll admit, I, I wasn't happy that all five of the characters were male in it as well. I did I would have liked to see a female character. At least like one or two. Uh, but maybe next Fighters Pass, hopefully. I keep I keep saying this, but put 2B in Smash. For God's sakes. She deserves it. Leave it to me. There are 
two kinds of people in the world. Those who open doors... Just pull the trigger. <laughs> I knew that wouldn't work. You got lucky. A door locked with a padlock. Do you think something this size would fit? Might fit if you work it in a little. Try just the tip. Date, you motherfucker. I suppose. I see. The gun was the key. Well, well, well. It seems I was key in helping us escape. Both of you shut the fuck up. You don't know shit about keys. This dream is over. I suppose this dream is over then. Guess I'll wake up now. Good. I'll open it. I'm gonna dismiss a lot of the weirdness here due to it being a dream, but like... I'm kinda hoping that there's a little more coherence going further in here. Ooh. Whomstuff was that? Open the door with a gun-shaped key. Date A acquired. The Illuminati is real. Day two, Saturday, Saikai. Nine twenty one AM, police headquarters. <laughs> I like the posters of the faceless men she has behind her. Good morning, Date. I was waiting for you. I've been sleepy all day. I don't sleep very well. Happy birthday. The parking sign is one of the peas. Very uh, interesting decor in this room. Bags hanging on a rack. Inside the bags are masks, like for costume parties. A tombstone. Rip. There are wine bottles lined up. Shelves. A police officer mannequin. Have you met my partner? This is my childhood friend, Mario. He's a good listener. I tell him all my stories when I get lonely. That was the moment I started to worry about the boss's mental health. There's a bunch of holiday stuff in the room. I saw pumpkins and a Christmas tree. Overall length of 15.35 inches, width of 8.8, .8, height of 5.35, and a body weight of just a hair over 830 grams. This RC car has friction dampers on the front and rear axles as well. Uh, how do you know all this stuff? <laughs> I used to be a flag girl for RC car racing in my glory days. How old are you? Talks? Boss's friend, Mario. A flag with big catch on it. Hmm. Looking at that reminds me of my old boyfriend from high school. So Boss's old love interest must have been an athlete. Interesting. You think it's true that a tanuki's ball sack can stretch up to 10 square feet? I don't know, let's find out. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't know. A sober restaurant door curtain. Happy birthday banner decoration. The birthday party was a while ago though. Puppy cart. 
wonder why we call all our pumpkins Jack? <laughs> what if that pumpkin's name was Bill? Sorry, it was funnier in my head. She's very interesting. She's she, she has like terrible jokes, but she dresses like one of those witty characters. I, I suppose it's not very much a good description of her, huh? Full of binders, it's got books, manga, movies, games, all sorts of stuff. What does she do in here? She has a computer on her desk. The type has that has a monitor built in. That's clearly not built in. <sighs> yep. They're all my husbands. Uh-huh. Boss is single, by the way. Stop. You'd love to have a body like her. She is pretty attractive. Are you familiar with the murder case at the resort called the Spur? No. I'm like trying to... I need that flavor text, damn it. I use that thing for stress relief sometimes. I know. I can hear it all the way down the hall. A map on the wall. It's not a map of public bath door curtain. That's my grandpa's death mask. The guy had a huge face. That's been here a while. I mean, Christmas comes every year, right? It's a pain taking that thing down and putting it up again. You know, my feelings exactly. There's actually a local diner in town. They would never take down their fake Christmas tree. They would just... I think it's still there, actually. They just decorate it for different holidays and just leave it up. It's actually very clever, and it's very nice, too. The battery died on that thing, so the hands have stopped, like you and me. What do you mean? <sighs> oh, Date. That's a Persian rug, you know. Very expensive. Oh, yeah? How much? Very expensive. Ten billion yen. What are you, in elementary school? Doesn't look like there's much else to look at here. Eh. Aw, oh, thank you for the sub, some fresh kiwi. I'm going to give you a thank. Celebrate coniferous plants always. There's a house in my neighborhood that goes all out in its decorations every holiday. Oh my god. Uh, so I have this friend who I've been seeing uh, with my girlfriend recently, and she showed me this local house that is decorated so ridiculously for Christmas. And they leave the decorations up for like four months. If I could get the photos on on my computer, I would show you like right now. Um, but I will, I'll tell you what, I'll show you it some other time. If you bring it up to me uh, on another stream or privately. Why do you have this? So if we're trapped down here when World War III starts, we'll have something to do. Oof, that aged war poorly. Metro Police Building in Kasumigaseki, Chiyoda District, Tokyo. Underground. We're six stories underground. Yeah, what about it? No windows. It's suffocating in here. Dark and dreary all the time. Ooh, yeah, that would suck, actually. So, I try to make my office colorful. Liven things up a little. It's like a party, right? I want it to feel fun in here. I'm used to working on the 10th floor and the 23rd floor of a building, so... There's usually a very nice view. Admittedly, the view was better in the office I used to work in until a few months ago, but 
the office itself isn't as good as the office I'm in now. I like being at this office way better, which is where I used to work back when I first started my job. It's very confusing. About Mizuki. Interrogators say she hasn't said a word since we found her. The doctors say she's traumatized. She can't speak. She's seeing a specialist at Central Hospital right now. Did you take her to the hospital after we found her? Yeah. Oh, there's the TV. Oh, it's behind the curtain. <laughs> Were you with her this whole time? You're like her legal guardian, then. No. She just lives with me. Mizuki Okiura. The girl we found in the merry-go-round. She's 12 years old in the 6th grade. Certain circumstances brought us to live together, but we aren't blood-related. Sort of like a stray cat that found her way into my home. In any case, we're not going to get anything from her. Why well, such a big difference in floors? Because I worked in two different offices. When I first started my job, I was on the 10th floor of the first office. Then when we relocated in March, I went to the 23rd floor of a different office in a completely different area. Um, and then when I got my transfer, I went back to the office I was in. Right now I work in Manhattan, like right near Penn Station. Uh, but for the, after I transferred, or before, after we switched offices, I was working in Jersey City, uh, near the, uh, near the bay, actually. No, I was working in two different buildings. Um, the reason I'm back in the first building is because I got that transfer uh, a couple months ago. About Renju Okiuri. Okiuri. Okiuri, where did that come from? He's at a police station nearby being interviewed. He's not a suspect yet, just standard procedure stuff. Renju is Shoko's ex-husband and Mizuki's father. Not to mention an old friend of mine. I wonder what Renju was doing last night. I did call him a few times. He didn't answer. He didn't? No. The local police tried his phone too, but they got the same result. No one was able to get a hold of him until this morning. We explained the situation to him. Had him verify Shoko's corpse. And naturally started asking him questions. What's the status of the investigation? Who do you think I am, Date? Uh, you're my boss? The commander of Abyss, Metropolitan Police Department? I mean, my name. Huh. I honestly don't know. I've been calling you boss for six years, so... Trust me, it's been more than six years. I suffer from a memory disorder. I don't remember anything past six years ago. I've been having flashbacks recently. Fragments of my past. Wait, what does your name have to do with our investigation? Because if you knew me well enough, you wouldn't have to ask. Ah, uh, so, nothing to report then. Got it. Any leads at all? I don't know if I would call them leads. What about the ice pick? The one we found in Mizuki's hand? We were able to identify the manufacturer, but it's sold nationwide. It would be impossible to pin down the buyer. <sighs> Damn. We did determine that the shape of the pick and the puncture wounds on the victim match perfectly. We also discovered that the blood on the pick is the victim's. Meaning that ice pick was probably the murder weapon. Almost definitely. About the ice pick? The pick Mizuki was holding? The only prints on it are hers. The evidence is really stacking up against her. She couldn't have done it. It's impossible. Well, then you better hurry up and clear her. She is important to you, right? Is there any other information? Let's see. We have some more information about the victim, Shoko Nadami. It's up on the database. Although it's probably nothing you don't already know. Well, maybe not. I haven't seen her for over a year. Still, you know more about her than anyone else on the case, right? Is that like a conflict of interest? I you to this. Nadami Shoko, 36 years old. Female, residence, Maguro District. Met Date Kaname, 
five years ago through her husband, Okira Renju. Date and Renju were so-called old drinking buddies. Renju and Shoko had one child together, a daughter named Mizuki, the prime suspect of this case. That's interesting. So why is she living with uh, Date? Ago, they were divorced. Shoko returned to using her maiden name, Nadami. I should also give you this. Oh, there's the Tanuki balls. It's a picture of Shoko. You'll need this when you're trying to get information, right? Since you don't have a cell phone. I took Shoko's picture and put it in my pocket. Wait, you don't have a cell phone? What the fuck? Your plan for today is to enjoy the stream, finish off your article about Maya King Falls, fix some pancakes, play some Magic the Gathering Arena, and then brace for filing your taxes. Oof. The tax stuff sucks, especially if you're a freelancer. It's weird for me because, like, on the bottom of my water bottle's wet. Shit. Oh, I just made, like, a huge ring on my fucking old-ass desk. Oh, I hope that goes away. See, my thing, my situation is weird because I not only have my like tax income, my income tax for my job, but then I also get those Twitch payouts like once a year. He has Zoom, X-ray, Dream infiltration, AI eyeball, yet no celly phone. You've had the same tax professional for like four to five years. I trust her to manage everything for me. Same. My cousin uh, does our taxes. At least for now. About the case six years ago. Hey, remember the case you brought up yesterday? The one that happened six years ago? <sighs> Date, forget about it. What? It's been a long time since I've been at a crime scene, and I got a little carried away and... No, oh, come on. Why, why are you gonna hold it from him? It was him? a slip of the tongue, okay? Shouldn't have said anything. That just makes me want to know even more. That case has nothing to do with this one. Yeah, I'm sure it doesn't. Might. Last night you said this could be a copycat crime. Yes, that's my point. It might be a copycat killer, but it can't be the same killer. That's impossible. Literally impossible. So it's not necessary for you to know about past cases. It would only cloud your judgment. Only the previous really killer would be able to say that. Just give it up, Date. The person who reported the screaming? Right. Unfortunately, not yet. What's the holdup? They didn't identify themselves over the phone. But you should have a location by now. All we know is that it was a payphone. Payphone? That's odd. It is unusual. Whoever it was clearly didn't want us knowing their identity. Oop, I, I missed something. Oh, never mind. It may have even been the killer. Oh god, that's kind of fucked up. I, I would hate that. Give me some warning before doing that. How? How? Hello. You saw a payphone out in the wild last month. Um, I'm trying to wonder, like, have I seen any in New York City? I think they got rid of most of them. There might still be a few lot flying around somewhere, though. No, not hello. I told you not to just pop out of nowhere like that. I do not understand your concern. Boss knows me by now. Well, still. Yeah, how about not just jumping out of my eye socket and, and forcing my eyelid to close over nothing? I'm sure that feels comfortable. <laughs> Look at that. It's me. Don't think I'll ever get used to seeing myself with my own eye. It's creepy. Well, I suppose it really isn't my eye. Iba's my left eye. She's outside my eye socket right now. 
but I see what she sees as if it were my own eye. Her body and the terminal in the back of my eye socket are connected wirelessly. Hello, me. Did you know that the Zhuang people are the largest ethnic minority in China? Yeah, just a little trivia for you. I'm full of useful information. Who are you? My name is Konami Date. I work as a special agent for the investigation squad of this and MPD. You are a handsome looking man. <gasps> no, stop it. Are you okay, Date? Perhaps it's time for his medication. Reminds me of you, boss. You have many faces, one inside the other. No matter how deep you go, you'll never get to the real you. I feel like this game is moving a little too, uh, end, a little too slowly. To the last one, the smallest one, like a child. Probably feels better than leaving the eye socket exposed to the elements. The thing is, though, I believe that the ability to keep your eyelid open is dependent on the eyeball being in there. So if your eye, if you don't have something there, your eyelid's just gonna fall down. And that's really, really weird to think about. That's the real me. About I. I've been thinking a lot lately. If I have another mind inside me, am I... Really me? Oh boy, here we go with the Remind zero escape bullshit. Arthur Rambeau once wrote. I is another. Meaning what? You have to figure that out for yourself. That's the point. About I. Hey, what does love mean to you? Oh, uh, I like the wordplay there. I is Japanese for love. Where is this coming from? Just answer the question. <laughs> Let me guess. You're asking me because the Japanese word for love is I, right? Like a pun? I'm see, right, aren't I? See, but in Japanese, you wouldn't be explaining that because you'd know what he meant right from the beginning. He dork. That hurts, you know. About my eye? Hey, so... About my left eye. Now's not the time to talk about that. About Iba. Hey boss, is it possible to do something about her personality? Don't ask me, I didn't create her. Get Pewter to tinker with her. Wasn't the AI ball your idea though? Yeah, but I didn't choose her personality or the way she talks. You can thank Pewter for that. Is that a serious question? We've been partners for five years. You know who I am. I haven't been getting a lot of exercise lately. You're joking, right? It's five years since we first met. One day I got called into the control room, and Pewter, the engineer, showed it to me. The official title is AI Ball. Why does this dude look like a Pokemon villain? Look, he's even holding the look. He, the the AI ball is a Pokeball. Oh god, that frame rate is is dropping back there. You may call her Iva. The artificial intelligence contained within this sphere is nothing short of miraculous. Oh fuck! That's him. That's Sean. An autonomous artificial intelligence birthed from collective nanotechnology. It's Guido Mista himself. Its ability to think is controlled by a program we call the Wadget System. The what system? I'm sorry, what? Special Agent Date, from today forward, this is your partner. She will be your personal computer and your personal companion. I was living in my, uh, I been living in my head ever since. She gathers info and runs analysis. She can also access wireless networks and hack into other computers. Yeah, he looks like Colrus. While she's in my eye socket, we communicate through an artificial nerve to my brain. It let's us talk without actually speaking. No, you're kind of cute like that. Aren't I? I receive that compliment frequently. 
Your attitude isn't, though. So, am I cute or not cute? I was joking. I don't understand your joke. Can you explain what's funny about it? Nope, not cute at all. Okay, really now. What's the real reason you came out? There is something I need to report to the boss. To me? Correct. I could have had the message relayed through Date, but that would have been less efficient. I concluded that it was better to have the both of you hear this together. It's like a translucent teddy bear mixed with, Med with Medama Oyaji from Gegege no Kitaro. I've only seen clips of that show, but um, I, I think I know which character you're referencing. I remember the eyeball character. Is there something on my screen there? Oh, that's part of the character. Please listen quietly. I have determined who reported the crime. Huh? You have? What? Nani? I found the payphone that the caller used. Nope. It was near the location of the crime. Blue. Thus, Blue. I decided to check the surveillance footage of any security cameras operating nearby. So you found a way into that database? That is correct. That area has little foot traffic, even less at night. The time of the report was around 9 p.m. Cameras only caught one person in the area around that time. I analyzed the footage and was able to obtain a facial recognition match. They were registered as a person of interest in the police database. Oh my god, who was it? Matsushita Ota, 24 years old, male. That does not look like a 24-year-old. I have marked his address on the map. That is all. Date? Way ahead of you, boss. Isn't Date like 23? Let's go, Iba. Affirmative. When you're able to visit a new destination, map will appear at the bottom right of the screen. Open up the map and pick a destination. Oh, cool. You can always check the tutorial. Yeah, I know. You've said that multiple times. Ah, give me a little more wiggle room here. No. I'm giving you an order. Does not compute. <laughs> My left eyeball is Iba. She sees things differently than I do. Hmm. Madama Oyaji literally means old man eyeball. Oh, if I just hit uh, X, it brings up the map. Cool. Begin and reopen investigation. Case file. Oh, wow. Okay. How do we... Oh, I see. Psychai. Oh, everything has an eye. Pe uh, everything has an eye uh, pun in it. It's gonna be pretty damn expansive if that's how zoomed out they start you at. Yeah, it reminds me of uh, looking at Breath of the Wild's map for the first time and just being like, "Oh, hey, this this starting area is really big," and then you zoom out and it's like two percent of the map. Oh, it actually gives new information about people. Oh, it updated her picture. Mizuku Okiura likes Tonkatsu ramen. Stew, unagi, metal pipes, iris. Dislikes raw seafood. How Date holds chopsticks. Oh, she'd hate me. Hobbies. Breeding Cleone. Collecting Adora Rabbit merch skills, studies martial arts, and enjoys its emotionally attacking Date. Mizuku is Renju Okiura and Shoko Nadami's daughter. Although she's not related to Date, he became her de facto guardian four years ago. The two have lived under one roof ever since. Entertainment company and maid cafe manager. Ooh, that sounds really not sleazy. 
Likes unusual things, dislikes ordinary things, hobbies work, enjoys songwriting. Renju manages at the entertainment office Lemon Lemniscate? A maid and maid cafe Sunfish Pocket. He is the ex-husband of Shoko Nadami and Mizuku's father. He has been Date's close friend for five years. Age 36 deceased. Oh wait, how old is Date? 30. Okay, never mind. Investi investment company representative slash director. Likes to be envied and praised. Dislikes someone who hurt her in the past. Hobbies. Winery tours. Scandinavian furniture collection. Pilates. Skills. Lying and cheating. Sounds like a real nice fella. Shoko is the ex-wife of Renji Okiura and Mizuki's mother. On a Friday night in November, she was found on the merry-go-round of the defunct amusement park known as Bloom Park. Her left eye socket was hollowed out. In algebraic geometry, a lemniscate is any of several figure eight or infinity shaped curves. The word comes from the Latin lemniscatus, meaning decorated with ribbons, from the Greek, can't read that, meaning ribbons, or which can alternately may refer to the wool from which the ribbons were made. It actually makes sense of why a maid cafe would have such a na name. Oh. Well, the entertainment office has that name, not the maid cafe. Dork. Loser. A geek. Great. Alright, I still have all this I can read. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, we got one more uh, page of photos here. Is that supposed to be Date? Yeah, I guess it is. Interesting concept art. Matsushita Diner. Oh, you can't. You kind of can't just go freely between areas, huh? You damn like the son of a shepherd! Wow, that was terrible. Saturday, ten eighteen a.m. You tried. Eh. Probably could have tried harder. That said, I've, I've received complaints about uh, being too loud here at night. I'm sorry we aren't open yet. Oh. I'm not a customer. I'm here for something else. I'm with the MPD. I flashed my badge. Oh, then my junk. No. Is my boy... Is Ota in trouble? Oh, she's cute. I like Calm this woman. Down, I'm just here to ask some questions. She hurried out of the kitchen. And you're Ota's... His mother. And your name, ma'am? Mayumi Matsushita. Miss Matsushita. Mayumi? That's not how that word would be pronounced. Before we talk, could I make a request? Could you put that knife down, please? Oh, goodness. Sorry, sorry. Mayumi put the knife down on the table beside her. Reminds me of what happened between Midoriya's mother between when Deku was a little kid and how she is now. Yeah, I noticed that too. I, I it, it took me like a couple times seeing her. I'm like, oh, she actually gained a lot of weight between, uh, the flashbacks in the present day. Which is nice. I mean, I like that it's, it's realistic. And she shrunk. Did she? Are you sure? It wasn't just because Deku got taller. It's a clock. Hands off those hands. <laughs> just kidding. Is this woman okay? Uncertain. But she reminds me of you. The gears have stopped turning. Not unlike my Yumi. Wait, what's this? What's with this game in broken clocks? That's the second one we've seen now. That's just the calendar. Thank goodness we have that. Otherwise, I wouldn't know what year it is. <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. It's November, but the calendar says January. Looking at it closely, even the rear year is wrong. This is old. Oh, 
Nothing but a window. It says, good luck. A beer ad on the She's wall. Cute. You have zero standards, Kaname Date. Menus written on the wall in Tanzaku paper. Do you want to see? It was delivered a little while ago. Any idea what's inside it? It's bound to be merchandise from that horrible succubus. She forces Oda to buy them. I know it. Enhance. It's a cardboard box. There's a delivery slip attached to it. The sender is Great Grin. A popular online store. The product description reads, Solid Model. I bet it's a booby girl. We should look inside. Use the x-ray mode. I don't like how it kind of zooms you out to do that. Low table. Actually, I actually had sushi for lunch today, and then I had a leftover Chinese for dinner. This reminds me of the funniest props compilation I saw. Oh god. She reached pretty far back for that reference. Speaking of Inku Midoriya, Inku, usually written using, kata, using kana alone, is the Japanese word for parrot. Yep. Especially small parrots such as the parakeet Lori and Conyer. I know that very well. I follow quite a few, uh... Japanese uh, bird owners. Inko and Hato. I am very, very used to those two words. An old I CRT. Unlikely. I do not detect any tuners or antennas. That is the autograph of Iruka from Dark Zone Kalimas. Yes, Hato is uh, Japanese for pigeon and dove. Some celebrity's autograph. What the hell? Are you unfamiliar with the superstition? Imitating a cat's meow to a lucky cat statue grants that person happiness and luck. Date, I swear to God. Is that right? Oh, thought he was gonna do it too. Jellyfish in the middle of this restaurant here. All right, I have to. Yep, it's a boob girl. Now, what is this? A solid PVC model of a person known as a figure. Something's written on the base. The letters appear to be some kind of metal. The permeability of X-ray vision should make them legible. A set. Allow yeah. me to investigate. A moment, please. What the fuck? What's going on? You might treat yourself to some teppanyaki for lunch. A set. A swimming door. A swinging door. Don't mind me, lady. I'm just observing everything in your building here. A kitchen knife with a floral pattern. And there's something written on the handle. Mom, I love you always. Aww. Ota gave me that knife for Mother's Day when he was in elementary school. He knows how much I love flowery designs. There is no way that kid is 24. I've used it every single day since he gave it to me. Well, it's more than just a kitchen knife. It means the world to me. Oh my god, how many green how much green is there? Salt, pepper. A blend of red cayenne and spices and an unidentified liquid. Swimming door. It says Mayumi's black sauce. I would taste somewhere for black sauce if you know what I mean. I mean, what, what are we doing here? Neither of us can figure out what that sauce is. Kuroda Kazuaki's cheek boiled in red 
wine. Let's hope that's not what it sounds like. Does this remind you of your delinquent youth? Hey now, don't judge a book by its cover. Besides, I have no memory of my youth. I wouldn't know. Look at that, there's still stuff for the chair. Can you observe the mop? Why isn't it letting me? I think he went to buy some ingredients. He comes and goes all the time without telling me. This is nothing new. Does this woman look familiar to you? No, I don't recognize her. Who is she? No one. Don't worry about it. Oh, it's just a little diner. But not to toot my own horn or anything. We do get quite a lot of customers here. I manage it with my husband. But it can get pretty hectic during lunchtime. Julia. What? This establishment is near the Kawasaki district that's been off limits for eight years. That could mean. Never mind. Hmm. Huh? Interesting. Oh, about 30 years now. We had to borrow a lot of money to get started. But back then, everyone was willing to lend you money. And now you're in debt up to your eyeballs, which is probably at the top of your head since you're so short. kind of office. Oh, uh, what was it? It's a place where irresponsible young men hang out. Nonconformists and the like. It hey, sounds like a nice like young gangsters? man. Oh, heavens no, nothing like that. Oto wouldn't go to a place like that. Then... Oh, I remember. It's a production office, an entertainment company. Um, what was it? I'm sorry, my memory's been so spotty lately. Why does Oda hang out there? <sighs> because there's a goddess there. A what? Oda says it all the time. A goddess. More like a witch, if you ask me. A witch, huh? Yes! A witch put a spell on my poor Oda. Makes him spend all his money on her. You see that box over there? The one on the table? Yes. Just look. You'll see what I mean. So is this witch working there? Yes. That good-for-nothing temptress works for that entertainment group. She's an idol. Do you know her name? Uh, I'm assuming it's not witch. Her name? Um, I don't remember. I just call her the witch. All right. We're getting nowhere. She doesn't remember the talent or the company. Even I am at a loss. Yeah. Hey, I, even I, AI, am at a loss. Call him? Yes. Does he have a cell phone? A cell phone? Why would he need a cell phone if we have a phone at the house? I love how th th that logic sounds so unsound, and yet the character I'm playing as also does not have a cell phone. Doesn't have one? Abandon this line of questioning, Date. Ota does have a phone. I found his number. Call it. I have already attempted to call multiple times. There is no connection. Either the phone is off, or he has no reception. Let's hope he's not face down in a gutter somewhere. That would be unsanitary, as well as a violation of waste disposal codes. Thank you. Date. I found some information about the figure. Aset is the name of a popular female musician. That sounds like our witch. Is Aset a group name? No, it is a single artist. An Aset figure, huh? Correct. What's the name of her talent agency? Lemnisgate. Sorry, what? I repeat, Lemnisgate. Oh, cool. And she owns that company. Correct. Uh, excuse me, does the name Lemnisgate ring a bell? Oh, yeah! That's where Oda goes. 
Iva, bring the car around. At once. We're getting the fuck out of here. The rain last night was pretty bad, wasn't it? Dante's AI ball calls internet calls people. That's why he doesn't need a phone. Oh. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Couldn't she also store files? Like he has a, he just has a computer on his face. The rain? Oh, right. Yes. She mentioned a box. Oh. Is there anything else here? Oh. Oh, it's only just a slip a second time. Can I get apps for YouTube and Twitch to install directly into my eye in the future? Futurama did like a big uh, episode on that. Where they got the iPhone, which is the EYE phone. And they had to have it implanted into their brain. That's where the uh, shut up and take my money gift comes from. Matsushita? Who are you? I showed him my badge. I'm from the MPD. <laughs> the police? Company's logo, Lemniscate. What is that supposed to be? I do not know. Dante, look! Ants! Look at them go! Yay! We need to have a discussion about your obsession with insects. There's an abstract, incomprehensible painting hung up. Is it... There's a receptionist with huge breasts sitting. Great. Good writing. Huge breasts. Perfect. Breasts. I hate this. I hate you, Date. How to take a girl home in just two minutes. I think I'll take a look at that. Lots of magazines in that rack. A vending machine full of drinks. Look, a door. There's probably an office back there. Promotional videos of the agency's talent are playing. Nothing dirty, though. This isn't that kind of company. So far. So far. A sofa. It's a sofa. So far. Hey, Iba. What do you think would happen if I flipped this table over right now? Nice intrusive thought there. It would come out of your salary. Eh, you're probably right. Guess I won't. This dude's laptop. Can I reach over and break that thing in half? If you can pay for the damages. Damn it. Oh, his laptop. Maybe the reason why Dante is so weird is because after losing his memories, he got a super eyeball and can now no longer escape all the flavor texts of life. Yeah. I wouldn't doubt that. Ota won't even look at my direction. He's typing away on his laptop. What are you typing? Could you 
stop bothering me, please? No, I'm kind of busy right now. Last night? Don't play dumb, kid. Yesterday, 9 p.m., you called the police from a payphone. You told them about screaming you heard coming from Bloom Park. I have no idea what you're talking about. All right, let's have a look. We either do this here, or I take you down to the station. Do you have a warrant? Article 2-3 of the Execution of Law Enforcement Code. Unless initiated by legal process... All right there, Koichi. ...the shall be detained or obligated to answer any questions without explicit consent. This is the type of kid I hate the most. How did you know that? Because I'm psychic. <laughs> Excuse me? Punch him. Oh, yes. Date, wait. No. A disturbance in public will result in disciplinary action. Then what should I do? I have an idea. Give me a moment. Kick him. I told you to wait. Waiting's just pissing me off more. Perhaps your dosage needs to be increased. What? Listen to me, Date. Otis PC is connected to the internet via Wi-Fi. And? I was curious, so I hacked into it. Look at that Twitter. She's doing great riding that high. Ignore that. T Tessa referred oh, to God. You're pathetic, dude. Stop white knighting for this chick. Do you see? Oh my god, they wrote like a whole thing here. Author orangutan. Optical protein fiber. Toe witter. Want to try new toe witter? Click here. I prefer old Twitter, and then they force the changes on us all. A young up-and-coming super genius author, multiple award winner, Tessa's future husband. I wish I could read all this shit. Gained 12 followers, has sent a message, received a message. Yeah, this dude is, um, oh god, I forget who it is, but it's, um, he voices, um, he voices Koichi in the uh, Diamond is Unbreakable dub. I think he also voices the main character of Demon Slayer. That is a popular fan nickname for her. That means Mato has to be Ota. Correct. However, it appears that Ota is the one operating the other three accounts as well. What? Optical Protein Fiber, Pongo Ponko, and KG are all Ota's sub-accounts. Ota is insulting Aset and defending her all by himself. Ah, yes, the true Twitter experience. Zach Aguilar. Oh, that is him. Who else did he do? He's Byleth, isn't he? This is what's known as a straw man sock puppet or false flagging. This kid is pathetic. Oh, man. Uchikoshi with that gripping social commentary. I'm gonna be honest, I had no idea that was Zack. What do you want? I'm gonna tell Ace. Tell her what? That you're sock puppeting for her on two witter. Uh, 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 what are you talking about? You should drop the attitude. You shouldn't make those kinds of accusations. Do you want to get sued for defamation? Optical protein fiber, Pongo Ponko, and KG are all your sub accounts. What? How do you know that? I told you, kid. I'm psychic. Now, I have some questions for you. <sighs> I'll come it immediately. Why are you here? I'm waiting for Tessa to come out. This is an office building, not a concert hall. This is the main facility of Lemniscate Entertainment's production branch. There are multiple studios for recording and broadcasting in this building. Tessa is recording a podcast today. Wait, he was Genos, really? Damn, you guys got range. Matsushita Ota, 24 years old, kind of a loser. When did you start with the fake accounts? Not only were you faking the whole thing, you made sure to add her so she'd see it. But if she doesn't see it, she won't know that I'm protecting her. 
Don't you think all those comments hurt her feelings, even if you defend her? But in the end, I made it so everyone became her fans and got along and... That's not the point. <sighs> I'm sorry. Just don't do it again, okay? About last night. I'm gonna ask you again. Takaki Uno in uh, Gundam IBO. It's been a while since I've seen IBO. The dub was pretty good. Were you the one who reported the screaming at Bloom Park around 9? Yes. Why were you in the area? I, um... You better tell me, or I'll tell everyone about your little imaginary enemies. Hey, everyone. Uh, this guy... Okay, okay. I'll talk. Just... Shh. He's telling it to the huge pair of breasts behind the counter. His words, not mine. I went to Bloom Park because I was supposed to meet someone. Did you enter the park? Yes. So who were you meeting? A girl named Mizuki Okiyura. What did you say? Mizuki Okiyura? She's the daughter of the president of Lemnisgate. Do you know her? Yeah, I know her. Yeah, she literally lives in my house. How do you know Mizuki? She's just a friend. Yes, yeah, she better be. What? Why do you care? Where and how did you two meet? Um, here, the Lemniscate lobby. Mizuki is friends with Tessa. I was talking to Tessa one day and she just comes up like, hey. Wait a minute, so if she's friends with Tessa, how the hell would Date not know who Tessa is? When was this? Last September. So, I guess the relationship has lasted over a year now. Don't call it a relationship. Well, what am I supposed to call it? Anyway, I have her look over my work sometimes. Work? I write light novels. Really? What's your pen name? Odoin Kyoma. That is a lie. Database searches reveal no professional authors have ever submitted work under that name. Hey, Ota. How about you stop lying to me? My third eye can see through your bullshit. But you don't have well, two eyes to begin I'm not with. A published author. I'm an aspiring author to be exact. Ugh, hate that word. So, anyway, Mizuki reads my novels. I get notes and advice from her. From a sixth grader? She's surprisingly insightful. Oh yeah, he's like he's 24. Christ, how old is she? Like 12? She has the talent to be an editor for sure. He provided detailed account of last Around night. Around 8.10 last night, I got a call from Mizuki saying she wanted to meet me at Bloom Park. She sounded scared. You know how that area is run down and abandoned? I think she wanted me to go with her as protection. Is this off my skeeve sensor? Someone messaged her on Nile. Nile? Oh, Nile line! A popular messaging application for smartphones and PCs. Uchikoshi. What did they you say? widely son of a bitch. She didn't tell me exactly, but it said to come to the merry-go-round at Bloom Park tonight. Who sent it? I don't know. But Mizuki was determined to go. What happened next? I met up with Mizuki and we went into the park. Really? Did you leave her there? Did you leave her there? Oh, now you actually say the line. You left a twelve-year-old girl by herself? I didn't mean to. I was panicking. People do stupid things when they're in fight or flight mode, like when people grab their pillow and run out of their house in a fire. Jeez, you're a real hero, kid. See, I knew you would make fun of me. This is why I didn't want to tell you. Is that why you didn't identify yourself on the phone? You seriously didn't think we'd find you? Mizuki would have told us everything. I didn't think she would. Why wouldn't she? She said that if she ever got caught going out at night with someone like me, 
her roommate would kill her. My <laughs> girl. Why did you use a payphone? I tried using my cell phone at first, but my heart was pounding and I was scared and my hand was shaking. And with the rain last night, it kind of slipped out of my hand. You dropped it? Yeah, right into a puddle. Iba, can you trace the last signal that Oath's phone sent out? Near Bloom Park, just past 9 p.m. The phone has not been turned on since. This is telling the truth. This music isn't really inducive to uh, gripping storytelling. Also, my hey, pro controller is doing? dirty as shit. Tessa! Of course, she's got no pants. I like that color scheme, though. And you are? Mr. Dante from the MPD. He came here to ask me about what happened last night. You mean, a detective? Wow! I've never met a real detective before! <laughs> that hung- that- that, oh, that- that was hung there a little too long. Adrenaline level is rising. Is something the matter? No, nothing. So I got Shoko's photo from my pocket and showed it to Oda. You know who this is, right? Yeah, it's the woman I saw at Bloom Park. Her name is Shoko Nadami. I saw it on the news. Wait, do you not know who her daughter is? She has a daughter? I didn't know that either. They must be unaware that Shoko is Mizuki's mother. Maybe because her last name is different. Nadami and Okiura. I wonder if there's a meaning behind them. It's also not yet been reported that Shoko is Renju's ex-wife. Did you talk to her about last night? Oh, um... I heard about it. About Ota seeing that corpse at Bloom Park. He told me. Tessa! Why didn't you come to the police? Such a shocking story would certainly pique the young woman's interest. It is possible Ota wanted her attention. He told her about a dead body he found? Actually, I already knew about it before Ota told me. How? It's all over the internet. When I saw Ota this morning, I asked him about it. He told me he saw the body. About ASAP. Gee, Tessa, you always look so cute. So, so cute. So cute that I can't take it. Don't you think so too, Date? You're awfully familiar with her. I can't help it. Her loving aura is in the air. Uh, dude. When I'm with her, I just... My head gets all light, and I just relax and don't sweat the small stuff. You know? Oh, just looking at Aset. Well, not really a look, more of a gawk or an enraptured gaze. Are you Aset? No shit. Let me confirm something. You're Aset, right? Let's play a game. Shadows. Um, threat, silhouette, Aset. Fears. Uh, upset, regret, Aset. Water! Wet, sweat, A-set! <laughs> Yay! A-set, you bet! Okay. The magnetic currents in the atmosphere are clearly causing aberrant behavior. We should leave. At once. How old are you? I turned 18 this year! Oh. Senior in high school? Yep. Date, I recommend you keep your hands to yourself. Don't worry, I'm not gonna make a move. What? Oh, I meant Ota. Wait, 
You were gonna make a move on me? What's your relationship with Oda? Relationship? Then again, I guess 18 and 24 oh, isn't bad. Summon thrall. But, uh... If Tessa ever gets in trouble, I swoop in and protect her. <laughs> you sound more like a superhero than a thrall. Ota always defends me when I'm getting bashed online. Yeah! Yeah, about that. Oh, you're making me blush. This guy... Half plus half age plus seven years of the floor. So Oda and because well, Oda's twelve uh, point four. So half that is. Wait, hold on. Yeah, he's twenty four. So twelve plus seven is nineteen. So, oh yeah, that's a little too young, huh? Likes professional life light novel author, self declared. Likes a set chocolate. Dislikes Tessa's enemies, preachy people. Hobbies, net idols, maid cafes. Skills cooking omelet rice, driving, sock puppeting. Overview Oda is Mayumi's son, an enthusiastic follower of a set. He often pushes the boundaries between idols and fans. He writes his own light novels and gets editing advice from his friend Mizuki. Birthday, June 8th. Me and my girlfriend are six years apart, but. I'm also, she's also, we're also in her late 20s to early 30s, so. Mayumi Matsushita, age 54. Profession, part-time worker. Likes flora patterns, Ota, and Takaro. Dislikes witches, everything that witch does. Hobbies, cleaning the shop, making soy sauce. Skills, everyday cuisine, obscure puns. Mayumi is Ota's mother. Over 30 years ago, she and her husband took out significant loans to open the Matsushita Diner near the Kabasaki District. She's been running the diner ever since. Lately, her memory's begun to get spotty. About the sock puppeting. Hey, let me tell you something. It's about those posts on two winter. Wait! Huh. Looks like you're my thrall now. Isn't that right? Ota. Yeah, just be cool. You're friends with Mizuki? Okiura? Yeah, I am. Mr. Okiura runs the agency, and Mizuki is his daughter, so we hang out sometimes. Is that how you became friends? There's more to it than that, but basically... Mizuki and I live under the same roof, but she doesn't tell me about her personal life. She doesn't tell me much of anything, come to think of it. I'm totally in the dark. So, Mizuki must come here to hang out sometimes. Date, I have determined that these two have no further information for us. Man, that was a lot of runaround to just get the, uh... Our goal is to find information the we got. Let us continue. Right. Let's head back to the crime scene. Hmm? Hmm? See you kids later. Um, where are you going? Back to where the corpse was found. In that case, I'll go with you. You'll what? Please take me with you. No. Why? Because I want to know more about what happened. Do you have any suspects? Probably some crazy murderer, right? That's what Oto was telling me. The corpse was strung up on that merry-go-round. It must have been some kind of twisted message. Where'd she go? Oh, she's right there. <laughs> Ota, take a video. Huh? Just do it. <laughs> hey, kids, you want to see a dead body? Mr. Dante! Don't touch me, please. Please, Mr. Dante! You can't leave me! What? I can't imagine life without you! What are you doing? Did you get it? Oh, uh, yeah. Look at that nerd. How is it that he's 24 yet the the, the woman next to him 
is 18. Hey. What are you doing? Mr. Date, you are a member of the MPD, aren't you? A public servant? I wonder. Man, that chick really does have huge boobs. This little video happened to go viral. Let me zoom in on them. Uh, excuse me. You wouldn't. Oh, and just so you know, taking my phone away won't help. It's already in the cloud. You... Piece of shit. I told you. I want you to take me to the scene of the crime. If you do, I promise I'll delete the video. Date, a thought has occurred to me. She really is quite the seductress. Asa has a rather inappropriate smile on her face, given the circumstances. Something wrong? No, not at all. I'm just imagining your body sinking into Tokyo Bay. <laughs> I'm used to sinking. Part of the job. Oh, it is, it is pronounced sinking. Huh? Oda is staring daggers at me. So is A, so is I like, is he like, is, is like she forcing her vision all the way to the left while Date is driving? Also, that, that just obscures the vision even more there. The glove box. Hey, you got any guns in here? I bet you do. Jesus. No, not in there. So you do have a gun. The center console. It's got an AC and the radio controls it. This car isn't domestic. It's made in Australia, so the steering wheel is on the right side. You could just say I live in Japan, and the steering wheel is on the right side. That's because they also drive on the left side of the road. And Indians use the left too. What? Oh, nothing. Just thinking. Speedometer, touchometer, and other beaters and gauges. This ride is pretty rad, huh? It is indeed rad. Gear shift. Oh, a manual. No, no witty commentary about that. A set is having a seat in his car. Why did you become an idol? Well, I guess it was because I've always wanted to be famous, you know? I hear that. I want to be famous. Get on TV. Be a household name. Eh, it's a little too ambitious for me. <sighs> Getting on TV would be nice, though. But you're not there yet. It's all right. Internet stars do better if they don't sell out. Internet star? Ota didn't tell you? I'm most famous on the internet. I do songs, and dances, and play video games and stuff on stream. Oh, I've got competition here. Have you heard of Shovel Forge? Shovel Forge is a game in which you manipulate cubes on the terrain to build structures. See, I think Shovel Knight, but that's clearly a Minecraft reference. I've been focusing a lot on that game lately. What about being on TV? I'm not very popular yet. I can only get on TV as a background singer or something. I don't get many gigs either. How did you start working for Lemniscate? Well, Oop. at first all I did was stream from home. And then, not to sound cocky, but I started getting pretty big. And you gotta stop eating so much. From agencies. And one of them was Lemniscate? Well, not exactly. Huh? My mom's actually an old friend of the president of the agency. Friend of Renju's? Yeah. So I asked him for advice one day. You know, you have to be careful. Even a place that looks legitimate with an office and everything can be sketchy. And my mom and I didn't know anything about the industry at all. But anyway, 
One day, Mr. Ohira said to come see him at his office, and he hooked me up. Remember, kids, if you want to be a famous streamer, just know a rich person that owns an entertainment industry. Company, not industry. I guess industry is owned by one or two people. About Ota. Why do you ask? You two are very close for an idol and a fan. Yeah, she is big. She's like 1.5 times as tall as a 24-year-old. Ota is... special. He really is like... a hero to me. Hero, huh? About Mizuki. We're good friends. We go to movies and karaoke and go shopping together. She's really good at listening to me bitch and moan about my problems. I'm so much older than her, but it really doesn't even feel like it. What's it like being a detective? Didn't know much about that. I'm not a detective. Mm -hmm. Not a d detective. But you are a cop, right? Right. But I'm not on the crimes unit. Then what unit are you in? What indeed? You aren't gonna tell me? Please? Yeah, sure. Let me just tell you about the uh, secret underground police station I work for. Posting that video. Whoa, hold up now. Well, then tell me. You know, now that I think about it, wouldn't you get in trouble for that video too? What? The video. You're an idol, right? You have a status to maintain. If that video went viral, I think you'd be in trouble too. It's okay. Uh, it is? Sometime real soon, I'm going to die. What? Oh. What? I can see into the future. I know when I'm going to die. <laughs> Just kidding! For fuck's sake. So. Anyway, I'm not going down without a fight. So I will release that video if you don't cooperate. About my department. I'm part of a special investigation unit known as Abyss. Date! I don't have a choice. What's Abyss? Advanced Brain Investigation Squad. The public doesn't know about it. Wow, cool! Don't tell anyone. I promise I won't. I swear to the Egyptian goddess Isis. Ask for her real name. By the way, I didn't catch your name. You really want to know? It's okay if you don't want to tell me. Uh, the game kind of hung up there for a second. Iris. Iris Sagan. I know. Weird, right? That is a very odd name for a Japanese person. Ooh, I'm freaking out. Ratty cake, ratty cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Had it, poke it, fill it with fruit. Uh... No, it's nothing. Uh, interesting. I mean, she could have been that young at some point in his past, and he knew her. I don't know. I'm wondering where the splits start happening in this thing. Excuse me. You Konami Date. That's right. And the girl? She's an important witness for this case. Yep, yep. We've got business here. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I'm sure that would work in real life. Iris couldn't hold back her excitement and rushed into the scene. Roof of the merry-go-round. There's a hole in it now from all the years of weathering. The autumn sky is clear and blue. The air is clear and cold. Last night I found Mizuki inside the central column. Why was she in there? A 
local cop. Is that a phone booth? No, it's the control room. This is where the staff would run the merry-go-round. I was joking. But hey, if you sense any trouble, you can hop in there and change. How old are you, making that reference? I suspect that she did not give you her real age, knowing what a phone booth is. Oh, so she's not 18. She might be older than that. Random off, but what sort of voice do you think Detective Gumshoe would have if Ace Attorney ever had full voice acting? Well, here's the thing. The anime has a dub, so he does have an official voice. Uh, what kind of voice do I think he'd have? I would say maybe a light-hearted uh, Richard Epcar, but that's probably a little too old and gruff for him. I suspect something kind of deep, slightly bumbling. Obviously get his vocal tick, pal, at the end of all the sentences. A panda ride, a type that you put a coin in. Like bear? I'm not gonna be punished, am I? What are you talking about? <laughs> Nothing. Just thinking about a game I like. Ah, she's talking about D Dingle Rampo. Dingleberry. I wonder how many couples sat here. Kinda makes me angry for some reason. All those damn matches if I could. Where is this anger coming from? Zenigata? Yeah! Now that you mention it, Zenigata's um, English voice actor would be a pretty good choice for Gumshoe. Uh, I don't know, Zenigata's a little too old though. I would say probably someone a little younger. Or a little younger sounding, rather. You're going to play that game soon. I have not touched uh, Danganronpa. I've heard good things about it. I've also heard some terrible things about it. I don't know if it would be something I'd want to invest a lot of time into. Especially with how many games there are. Um, ow, my chest just friggin' hurts for some reason. Um, but I would say nothing's impossible. That being said, this is probably the last visual novel I'm playing for some time. Visual novel slash... Exploration game, whatever. Date, that horse. That was stored in the warehouse nearby. Some kids must have broken in and put it up as a joke. <laughs> How's the investigation coming? Not looking too great. We searched all over here, but we didn't find nothing. I I don't know how to answer that. I've never heard him off uh off camera, honestly. Another cold fall. Last night, Shoko's corpse was on top of a horse. It has been removed. The body has been transported to headquarters for autopsy and review. Enhance. Shoko's corpse was tied up here. Hmm? Wait a second. Bye -bye. Can you show me the earliest recorded images of the scene of the crime? What is your intention? Shoko's cause of death was blood loss from multiple stab wounds with the ice pick. Naturally, there should be plenty of blood. Agreed. But there isn't a single drop on the horse. And it was like this when we found it. Correct. There are no signs of blood being wiped or washed off, either. That must mean... That must mean... No. Hole. Uh, uh, uh. I know what you're thinking, Mr. Doctor. I'm not gonna ask you to do a pole dance. You wanted to see me dance on that pole, huh? No. What the hell are you talking about? What 
What are you doing? I was trying to find some clues. She's a natural detective, huh? Mm-hmm. Mr. Date, was the body on top of this horse here? Yeah, that's the one. Hmm. Seems like some kind of ritual murder to me. Maybe a religious cult sacrificing her to the devil or something. They conducted their ritual here. Like shadowy, hooded figures going around and around, stabbing her one by one. That's quite an imagination. But do you have any proof? Uh, wait a minute. What did she just say? Hold on. Body which seems like kind of a ritual murder. Oh. Interesting. I do. Well, let's hear it. No, let's hear it. Don't don't unzoom out. Why do you think this was a ritual murderer? The horses. Horse sounds kind of like Horus, right? What are you talking about? You don't know Horus? Horus is the Egyptian god of the sky and sun. The right eye is the eye of Ra, and that's the sun. The left eye is the eye of Wajet, and that one is the moon. Oh, that's the uh Wajet is the uh thing that's related to uh, eyeball. It's the same idea behind the Eye of Providence. The Eye of Providence? The all-seeing eye. Oh, I see. Just like what's on the back of a $1 bill. Ah, oh, which was in his dream. Yeah, exactly. The Eye of Providence is supposed to be the symbol of Freemasonry and the Illuminati. Starting to see the picture? Not really. I remember Ota describing the scene. He said there was an ice pick stabbed into the corpse's left eye socket. Horus? Providence? Left eye? Castlevania Season 3 drops March 5th. Ooh, yeah, I've, I've read about that today. If you've uh, been catching up with the uh, Alucard uh, Twitter account, he uh, it's like about his daily life in the castle, and he apparently has captured a raccoon and named it uh, Raccoon Trevor. But yeah, uh, Castlevania. Castlevania is really good. The, both both of the first two seasons were really amazing. Started off a little slow, but picked up very quickly. I am very much looking forward to uh, what they do next with the series. Beastars comes to Netflix March 13th. I'm going to be honest, I know very little about that show and uh, manga, but it does interest me. I might have to check it out at some point. Uh, right now, I still have to finish uh, BoJack Horseman. I've watched the first half of season six, and I still need to watch the uh, the back end. There has to be some kind of meaning to this. Wait, what did you just say? What? The ice pick was inside the victim's left eye socket. Yeah. Ota told you that. He's sure that's what he saw. Yeah. Why? When we arrived at the scene, the ice pick was not in the victim's eye socket. If Ota's telling the truth. The penultimate episode of Bojack had you crying. Uh, that's what I've been told. I've been told that that's like the hard-hitting one. I've, I've heard the last episode's kind of just like a cleanup. He would have no reason to lie about such a detail. I really need to just power through it at some point. Okay, so the ice pick was actually in the eye socket first, and then Mizuki removed it, apparently. Have you been here before? When I was younger, but not since it closed. Kabasaki is restricted, right? No one's supposed to be here. This amusement park, Blue Park, is located at the heart of the Kabasaki district. It was closed eight years ago. The closure was due to an accident at a nearby chemical plant. An explosion caused massive amounts of chemical pollutants to contaminate the area. Pollutant. The High pollutant. The issued evacuation orders. Eventually, the entire district was deemed unsafe for habitation and restricted. Therefore, Bloom Park was permanently closed. But a restricted area doesn't mean much if there aren't enough officers to patrol it. There's still plenty of ways in. You can even get in by boat. Hell, some people ignore the evac order and are still living here. How, though? Okay. I don't know, but if anything happens to them, it'd be their own fault. Are we safe? We are, yeah. Decontamination for this area is basically done. The chemical concentration around here isn't high enough to hurt you. You could run a marathon here and be okay. 
But it's still off limits, right? Yes, legally. That keeps the media out, at least. I'm glad. It's quieter than it usually is. I feel like there's some health code violations happening here. You're wasting hey, your time. Iris, I don't know what you're trying to accomplish here, but you're wasting your time. Why did we come here? The cops already scoured the place. They didn't find any leads, not a single clue. If they had, they would have notified Iba. Iba? My partner. Your partner? I don't see anybody. She's right in front of your eyes. Or is she right in front of my eyes? Huh? Oh, come on! Just a little longer. No. I'm already in enough trouble bringing a civilian in here. Okay, I guess. Wait, why did we come here? Hey, you alright? Are you okay? Uh, here we go. She's gonna activate her special power. Morning sickness. What? I'm kidding. Yeah, I don't feel like you are. Get on. I'll give you a ride home. Yeah, score. Just wondering, but how much do you weigh? Don't you know it's rude to ask a lady that? I'll just answer the damn question. Five pounds. There you go. I see. 105, huh? You can tell just by lifting me? Yeah. Your back is so warm, Mr. Date. Can we not? We're doing this again. You know, I'm feeling kind of bored. I never actually mentioned the dashboard, so that pound makes no sense. Seriously. You know how stuff always gets beat up when you put it in here? Don't you wish they could make these things a little nicer? Should be putting anything too, like, valuable in there to begin with. Um, Mr. Date, shouldn't you keep your eyes on the road? Very nice Don't worry touch. About it. I'm a professional. Professional what? Oh, uh, horrible. Shame. You should worry about me more. Looks like you're feeling better now. Maybe I'm just acting. Yeah, I don't maybe, think so. Maybe I'm just acting. What if Ever I heard of the Dracula right parrot? I think I have, but I can't remember any details about it. I would put it right back where it came from. That's gross. Ew. That makes me actually want to throw up. Oh wait, is the Dracula parrot the black and red one? Like the black one with the black feathers and the red highlights on it? I think I saw that thing on Conan. Iris opened the passenger window. The be beacon head looked like a vulture. Interesting. Wait, seriously? No, but I am kind of warm. The current temperature is 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Humidity 60%. It is unlikely that heat would be a factor. Oh, so she's sick. Hey, Date. They say when you stick your hand out of a car going a hundred, you get a rush like you're holding D cups. What the fuck? Hey, watch it. You'll get your arm ripped off. <laughs> Relax, I'm invincible. This game needs to stop talking about boobs. My arm regenerates like an alien's. Didn't you tell me that you're gonna die soon? It feels strange. Your hand? No, not that. It feels like. I've met you before. I mean, we probably have. Well, that's nice. Ugh. If you don't get your damn hand back in this car right now, it's gonna ram you right into a garbage can. Okay, okay. I was gonna say light pole, and for some reason I said garbage can. I don't know why.
Sagan Residence, the Carl Sagan Residence. You should come in. No, that's all right. I'm gonna head home. Ooh, going home already? Yeah, it's Saturday. I'm supposed to go home. I said my goodbyes, then turned to leave. But out of the corner of my eye... Uh, she looks familiar. Wasn't she the girl we saw in the dream? Oh, who is this, Iris? I felt my body freeze, because that woman, she's... Yep. No, it can't be. It can't be. I felt like my mind and body were being torn apart in opposite directions. As I stood there, stunned, Iris grabbed my hand. Wait a minute, this is the- this is the apartment from the dream! Oh, fuck. You- you're- Nice to meet you. I'm Iris's mother, Hitomi. Miss Hitomi. Hitomi Fujiko? And you are? Kaname Date, from the MPD. Police? Are you a detective? No, Mom. Mr. Date said he's- Iris? Oh, right. It's nothing. Don't worry about it. Okay. After an awkward silence, Iris brought us some tea on a tray. She put everything down on the table and sat down on the sofa. Oh dear. Oh dear. I saw it in a catalog before, so I know. The lights are off. It's a shoe box. I wonder what they smell like. Haha. <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny just to smell them, you know, as a joke? Hey, these thoughts are private, okay? There's a calendar and a strange object on the shelf. It reminds me of a kind of angel. What is this object? I would say that looks like 12th, 11th, 10th, 8th. It's the diamond. It's the it's the one that you had to kill with the synchronization attack. A clock. I don't know. I it, it has been so long since I've watched Evangelion. Close the door. What kind of a riddle is that? Another riddle. How do you put an elephant in the refrigerator? Isn't it the same answer? Open the door, put it in, close the door? Incorrect. The giraffe is already inside. You must remove the giraffe before you put the elephant inside. Ah. Uh, That's the solution. Clever. Riddles can use some work. There's a drawing on the wall. I wonder if Iris drew this when she was younger. You can see the trees outside. Wow, that is uh, some view. Very cozy. It's like, you know. Mr. Date, what are you staring at? Your sound system. My sound system? What about it? I was just admiring it. I wish I had one that big. Right. 
he's comparing the sound system to his dick and balls. Somehow. Flowers. It's an iris. An iris? I thought those bloom in May. That's the winter iris. Iris ungicularis. They bloom in the cold. They bloomed just this morning. I see. In the language of flowers, the iris means good news and hope. When I saw the flowers this morning, I just knew something good would happen. Uh. Uh. You look chipper. This game's, writing think so? this game's writing likes to swing its foot into the gutter at least once per block. Yeah. I feel like they're going out of their way to make Date perverted when his character wouldn't be. I don't know if there's a point to that or if it's just to make him more relatable like, uh, not even relatable, but just to make him more similar to, uh, the Zero Escape protagonists because they both had a, a habit of being kind of perverted in the typical, like, Japanese male way that they're written in games like this. So I feel like they're just doing that to do it, rather than because it's, like, an endearing character trait. Only because this character is, like, fucking 30. He's way raunchier than the other two. How old was Zero Escape's protagonist? Uh, they were in their 20s-ish. There's more than one. There's multiple protagonists, usually in their 20s. Yeah. I was just thinking about a hunch I had this morning. A hunch? There are flowers blooming behind me, right? There are, yeah. What about them? <laughs> uh, what? Osagami Sumo Wrestler Directory. Osagami Sumo. You were saying? Mr. Date, please drink your tea. It's getting cold. Oh, right. <laughs> we haven't even touched our cups. Well then, let's have a sip. Sip. Are you left-handed? Oh, uh, Mom used to be right-handed. But now... <clears throat> what? Oh, is her right hand messed up? Locked up on me. Oh. Uh, I see. About the flowers. Iris was hinting about the flowers blooming behind her. How long have you been living here? Since I was born. And mom was living here before that. I grew up in this house. I've made a lot of memories here. I'd thought about moving before, but I just couldn't bring myself to leave this place. Why were you considering moving? Well, because there was... Well, uh, I don't know. She's grasping her arm. Huh? You seem to be doing well now. Thanks to you, I feel as tough as a lion. Uh, I cut that off. I want to hear that. I want to hear her say roar. I feel as tough as a lion. Roar. Cute. How am I supposed to react to that? Don't think about it. You'll only hurt yourself. Talk about the flowers back there, because I don't... whatever. Where do you work? I'm a teacher at the local elementary school. A teacher? Must be a tough job. Oh, <laughs> not for me. I love children. Even the struggles and challenges are quite rewarding for me. 
I'm 37. Wow, well, she's not that much older than me. Jesus. And Miss Iris here is 18? Yep. You were very young when you had her. Yes, just 19 years old. What about your husband? Don't have one. I don't have one. Divorce? Mr. Date, please. It's all right, Iris. I've never been married. A single mother. Yes. About Renju Okuria. By the way, I heard Okiura, that you were friends excuse with me. the president of Lemnisgate, Mr. Okiura. Renju was my classmate at Eitoku High. We've known each other for 20 years now. Oh, fuck. What if he's, what if he's, uh, Aset's, um, father? Eitoku High. You know it? I know everything on the internet. Do you know Renju's ex-wife? Yes, I do. But I only met her twice. Once at Renju's wedding, and then again just a few months ago. Why do you ask? No reason. Oh my god, if she's the one... If, if her arm locked up because she killed... What's her name? That's well, gonna be ridiculous. I think it's time for me to be heading home. I stood and headed for the door. Iris and Hitomi stood politely. Mr. Dante, we'll see each other again, right? You sure you want that? I'm a cop after all. If you ever see me again, it probably won't be under the best of circumstances. Oh. But, because you're Mizuki's friend, yeah, we might see each other again. She is kind of like my roommate after all. What? Anyway, be seeing you. Excuse me. Well, I should head home. All right. Take care, Date. Man, he's driven he's driven down this highway like five times today. Date, let's go over the facts of the case. Good idea. Wait a minute. So if I'm looking wait. Oh, I see Iba's right there. I was like, where where's Iba standing if that's where I'm looking straight into? Dashboard. Dashboard. Iba's fitted into the center of the steering wheel. Do you hide your risque reading material in there, Date? Not at all. Why would I hide them there? Focus, you've got this. Don't push yourself, Dante. No, I'm fine, Dante. You do not appear to be fine. Allow me to introduce myself. Hi. My name is Kaname Dante. Nice to meet you. What? Dante? I have the same name. What a coincidence. Perhaps he's had too much medication. Play a game. Hey, me. Want to play a game? Sure, let's play I Spy. I Spy something round. My eyeball. Correct. I win. I will terminate you. Now who is this handsome gentleman? Oh, it's me. Look, a crazy grandma with a knife is running straight for us. Mm-hmm. Let's hear a timeline of events. Iba. Can you give me a timeline of the events of the crime? At once. Approximately 5 p.m. Shoko's TOD. I wonder who sent that Nile message to Mizuki. Unknown. Mizuki receives Nile message. Unknown sender requests to come to Bloom Park. Mizuki calls Oda, asks him to accompany her to Bloom Park. Mizuki and Oda discover Shoko's corpse. 
Oda leaves Mizuki, flees crime scene. Oda reports crime via payphone. First responders arrive on the scene, discover Shoko's corpse. Date arrives on the scene. So it took a half hour from when it was discovered to when the police arrived. Probably the culprit themselves. But Mizuki wouldn't obey the instructions of a complete stranger. Then Mizuki knew the sender. That's what I'm thinking. Or the suspect used her friend's phone. Aiba, can you hack into the phone and find out who sent the Nile message? Nile's security protocols are intricate. It will take time to decipher. About the bloodstains. When we arrived on the okay. scene, there was no blood on the horse the body was mounted upon. Which means the merry-go-round wasn't the murder scene. Shoko was killed somewhere else, and then brought there to be displayed. That means Mizuki couldn't have done it. She's 12. She can't move a body or drive a car. Were you considering her a suspect? That's part of the job, if there's even the slightest possibility. Then this is good news. It means the likelihood of Mizuki being the killer is almost zero. I knew that from the start. She would never put her hands on her own mother. She doesn't have what it takes to commit murder. Why was Mizuki inside the column? Perhaps she was playing hide and seek. Hide and seek? It was not a serious suggestion. I was merely joking, as you call it. The estimated time of death is yesterday, Friday, around 5 p.m. Oh, wow, so she died hours before they found her. The cause of death is blood loss from multiple stab wounds to the torso. The weapon used to commit the murder is almost certainly the ice pick Mizuki was holding when we discovered her. There were no fingerprints, hair, or other clues left behind by the culprit. About Shoko's corpse. The corpse was found tied up on one of the... This Wait, makes it clear that the killer had no intention of hiding their crime. Mm. Rather, it appears as though it was displayed deliberately. Our perp wants the limelight. Or is attempting to send some kind of message. So got more to say here? The corpse was found with her left eye removed. That eyeball has yet to be found. According to Iris's testimony, when Ota first discovered the body, the ice pick was still lodged in the left eye socket. So why did Mizuki have the ice pick? Could she have taken the eye? Anything on your mind? Yes, as a matter of fact. I checked the surveillance cameras around Bloom Park again, and I noticed something strange. Something strange? There in the were neighborhood. No cars. Yesterday, in the parking lot and the streets in the vicinity, there was not a single vehicle. Are you sure? I am. Then, I how the suspect moved the corpse? I have no idea. Here we go, down the highway again. Thought he was going home. Welcome back. I brought her here after her examination was over. Mizuki. Has she said anything? No, still can't talk. Was it okay for you to bring her here? I got permission from the hospital. Apparently, the hospital director has been poking a few of the nurses. So I asked him about that, and all of a sudden he seemed very open to the idea. That's not permission, it's blackmail. Eh, same thing. You know what you need to do now, right? Sync with her. Uh, I feel like that's something I shouldn't do tonight. Should probably close it up. It's 3 a.m. I don't like this. This makes me uncomfortable. Okay, uh, thankfully we don't have to do that right now. We're just gonna save. And 
and uh, we'll call it here. Got bits and tea leaf in your mouth from the last drought. That's the way the tea leaf crumbles or something. Uh, yeah, that was pretty good. Um, aside from the 40 minutes of technical difficulties that no one watching the stream later will see because I'm going to delete that video. Um, yeah, it's interesting. It's definitely not as uh, hard-hitting as the Zero Escape games start off, but I'm very interested to see where this goes. Yeah, I'm hoping that this... Well, I mean, if it goes off badly tomorrow, I can always just do what I did today and restart the stream. Hopefully it'll be fixed a lot quicker. But yeah, uh, I might actually, I'm, I'm gonna try to stream more often and I'll probably stream tomorrow as well. I might stream this whole week, honestly, up until Friday. So we'll see what happens. Uh, I'm gonna alternate between this and Shovel Knight probably until I finish uh, Showdown. And then I'll finish this and then probably move on to something else. Uh, but yeah, really thanks for coming as always. Thanks for helping me. Thanks for finding people to help me with this stupid, uh, stream issue. Uh, you have a great night, as well as anyone else that's still here. Oh, you too. Thank you. Wait, what? Oh, you just, you, you, <laughs> you squished my bird. I'm like, what did you do to my, uh, my emoticon? I forgot you could do that. How do I, um, modify a single emote? Jesus. Try not to stress out too much. That's kind of a problem when I, uh, when, with my job. But, uh, yeah, no. I'll definitely stress out a lot less. It's, it frustrated me because it was a problem that had already happened in the past, and I just didn't want to deal with it again. But, uh, yeah. I will definitely be a lot calmer tomorrow, and we'll pick this back up and do some more. It'll be fun. Thanks, guys. You have a good night. See you all tomorrow.